Greetings, welcome back to Fable 3. Let's see whatever we can find for to do besides going back going back to Barrowstar Industrial and meeting with oh, meeting with our dear resistance. So first of all we'll go for the game. Let's see what's that about. Oh, show it to me. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double checked every bit. Of it. Thank you. I just need someone to be the hero. But will that orb thing really work? Well, it's work with everything else. Bobs, rabbits, wolves. Well, better work. I got all dressed up for this. Where'd you get it anyway? Nothing else. Okay. Hello. I bought it at a convention. The seller told. I don't believe it. You're a hero. I mean, I'm yep. you're a real hero. That's just what we need. Salutations. We are three magi of great power. I am Madron of a thousand faces, and this is Kaliv, Lord of the Fairies. And lo, as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number. Oh, for goodness sake, Mark. My mum wants me home for supper. Fine. And lo, that's Jim. Now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? All you have to do is take this magic orb, and you'll be transported to the baron's realm. What say you, hero? Will you aid us? Will you aid her? She is completely hot, by the way. Okay, oh, that's a nice board you have there. And by the way, can I have your robes? Please? Oh my. I hope my dog doesn't kill me. The hero wakes. Long had he harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil baron. Get on with it. Stop. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil baron's castle. Oh, first of all, I can hear to it's the celery of doom. I'll take it. You'll see it's open. Resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what he could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking to all the villagers, we'll be here forever. Well, some players like talking to people. Yeah. In the story world. This is like when you told me people read item descriptions. No one reads item descriptions. As it happens, okay. I knew exactly what had happened to the princess. Hey, shut up. You're ruining it. There are tons of lines for the villagers, and I think some of them are really cool. Okay, and I'll talk to villagers because I like talking to the readers and reading item descriptions <laughs> so screw you Jim the blacksmith I make weapons and if you bring me some sky metal I can make you a magic sword it's a thousand gold per plus so a plus three sword is three thousand gold oh Oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. A bit early in the adventure for anything above a plus three. It's on balancing, you see. Uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. Are you serious? A game like this is all about customization. I am Mildred, a humble milkman. To brighten my joyless days, I daydream about a handsome nobleman, strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours in his warm, powerful arms. Hang on, who's talking here? You or Mildred? That was Mildred. What about the princess? You should say that Mildred saw some hobs carrying a large, wriggling bag. But she didn't. And that she's really hot. 
The hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. <clears throat> Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? Oh, radiant orb, into the sky rise, and illuminate for mine mortal eyes my true love's face and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame. What do you think, guys? Nice. Frame with frame. I guess the most gifted poet of our age doesn't own a thesaurus. Well, he tried. It's that at least. Okay, okay. By the way, god damn it, Rat, stop destroying your house! Oh, I hope you cannot hear it because he's literally tearing his house apart. That's that better. No, oh, I thought I don't have to reload for some reason. Okay. Got some more experience for us. It's always good. I guess you never heard about the bloodthirsty rabbits of doom. <laughs> They're creepy. And you don't fight them, you run away from them. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the princess and the baron! Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil baron! I am the evil baron. And the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will... Well, they'll do evil stuff. For they are... Evil teddy bears! I shall never marry you! Oh, she's spirited like that. Okay. Can we find something interesting? What? Uh, tough of ab absolute annihil uh, annihilation. <laughs> Damn it, I cannot read. Uh, oh. What do we have here? Wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let him open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. 
actually, that's rather easy. Yeah. Oh, just give him the sword. Thank you. Took me ages to work that out, and now he's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. And it's already plus three. Wait, is there anything behind this? Yeah. This world, well, the uh, overall, the Fable free world, is so full of everything, yet it is so empty. Not suspicious at all. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. <laughs> Quick, let's make something up. Uh, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Oh, that's so cute. They look more oh, like so moths, so though. I'm serious. Uh, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, okay. Let's have some bloody action. I'm ready. Ooh. Let's see the Inferno unleash. Oh, he's still alive. No, he's not. Are we done? No, not quite. Oh, got them. Okay, would you mind? Would you kindly stay away? Oh, we did something! Sense of self importance. Okay. Are those guys dead? No. Thank you. After the Hollow Men vanquished, the hero ventured on. I did indeed. Come on, open up. <laughs> okay. If you say so. First of all, allow me to see that item we have here. Legendary Condom of Gods plus 5. This superlative cont contraceptive was forged in the fires of hell itself for her pleasure. For whose? Hell? Well, the pants on. What you. What? And the killer monsters are. Chickens? A chicken? Yes. Mm. I thought it was time to put in something cute, but also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben. You. <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken, it's a fire breathing. Demon chicken. Okay. If you say so. Luckily, they're not really tough. Oh, really? Really? Oh my god. I, kind of feel so I don't. Mighty hero triumphed over the fire breathing demonic um, chickens. Of doom. It's always of doom. Okay. I already find a way out. Elite Hop Guard will take care of you. 
They hunger for human flesh. No, they're, they're welcome to try. I can't say anything else. Hmm. Nice. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Stop running away. Thank you very much. Yep. Pretty much. I want to eat the celery. I just did. You really think so? Uh No, I can just wait it out to uh, don't use any more any healing potions. <laughs> oh, there's even more of them, okay. Oh, the saucer! Okay, I'll use one healing potion. Just to get rid of this heart sound. No. Why would you even get hops as your guard? Oh, I thought it was the end. <laughs> oh, but it is. Okay. Personal combat hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword. That is the bane of my existence. Which there is no way you could possibly have. Yeah. The sword. Oh. The sword. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> game lets you kill the villain in one blow well you gave the hero that baron's bane sword yeah, yeah. But it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get oh give it a rest will you please come on back to the game hero thank you for saving me how can i ever repay you i can think of something <laughs> <laughs> yeah the hero kisses the princess but only because she wants him to, being a strong, self-confident woman who chooses her own destiny. Damn. Oh, I'm good, so I won't threaten her. And they both lived happily ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death shrieks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. Hmm. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> I think the cannibalism was a good idea. <laughs> Great work, my friend. You are fantastic. Thank you. You have to be the best hero of all time. Thank you. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of honorary master of dungeons. Yay! Oprah Magica is now mine. Well, that went well, 
don't you think? Uh-huh. Good bit of gaming, that. When's the next session? Same time next week. Hang on. Where's the orb? Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we got? <coughs> Ooh. The orb of interplanar transference. I think that Hero kept it. Oh. Hey, probably just as well. For a magical artifact of unfathomable power, it was a bit rubbish. Okay. Here, Mark, Jim, and Ben. You wet now, soggy brain gamer geeks. You sad cheese faced nerds. Why don't you get a life and stop all that wimpy role playing? Yours sincerely, Arthur. It's not wimpy. I like it as well. <laughs> don't bother because you haven't got me. Damn. We're barely off. Oh, if I buy this, can I get to the other side? No, since there are no doors. The outside. Oh, is that something? No. I hate when they do that. I really do. What? Digging spot? Okay. Oh, we need to get back to the gamer's house, then out and left. Okay. Thank you. So let's get back there because we want to see what do we have. Okay, I have to buy it. I think. No, I don't want to move in. Yes. Maybe we can just go like this. Yeah. We don't have to buy the house. Well, we're using it anyway to gain some more money. Aristocrat makeup. Okay. What else do we have to do? Hmm. Maybe we should go for the. Si Oh, there's something new. Silver pine curse. An evil presence. Okay. You want to go back there, don't you? Hopefully he will wait for me in the last room. Where we where he should be. I have do I have anything new for you? I don't remember. No, I don't. Okay. Um, okay, you are here. Thank goodness you've returned. Things have got desperately out of hand. What do you mean? Remember that new area of the library you yeah. helped me uncover with all those rare books? Yeah. Well, I read many of them. Full of Already? Wondrous stuff. Trouble is, one of them wasn't quite so wonderful. I didn't realize it at the time, but it was some sort of black necromantic tome or something. Of course. The screaming skulls on the cover should have tipped me off. Yeah. Anyway, these things, these truly evil things started appearing. You have to get rid of them, please. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. I know you can do it. Of course I can do it. Who do you take me for? Who do you think I am? I'm the hero of Albion. So, yeah. I've got this all under control. Although, I've, I keep forgetting to go to the blacksmith and buy we new weapons. Oh, well. Can I use the key here? Is this the time? I have a key. <laughs> But I don't have the key. Okay, and find them correctly. We are supposed to turn right here. And then up. But not all the way up. What is first room? 
and we're looking for the second one. There's something here. Three gold coins. Wasn't it here? There are some doll here. Yep, it's here. Whoa. Oh. Thank you. There's something interesting around here. Now I think the books will either lay on the ground. Be anyway marked so that they can be read. I hope that's the case. Because I really don't wanna look through all those bookcases. Thank you. Really, guy. My dude. Oh, there are another two. Before I go talk to him. I need to... Oh! Don't do that! Two thousand gold. So nice. There's really no books interesting enough to read. Well, I guess so. A shame. Okay, let's go back to so there's nothing else for us to do here. Oh well it was only five guild seals after all. Can't expect too much for that price. Wait well we still have one more area to discover one I and I don't think about the golden door hopefully we will be able to get through, through there next time I hope so otherwise it's gonna be annoying it will be annoying to find out how the hell am I supposed to open this. <laughs> oh my god, no, 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 don't do that. By the way, how's my battery? I cannot see. Okay, never mind then. Mm, I opened 69 chests. Nice. I'm done. You did it. Yep. There aren't many people who could have dealt with those things. I cannot thank you enough. Now I can continue my research. Okay, you can continue your research and I can continue looking for quests. And we can get to the silver pines as well. Oh, I don't really. <laughs> okay, let's go there, even though this place is annoying. Here we have the silver pine curse. We'll go there.
Is that the tomb? Oh, of course. Why can you stay down? And again, I forgot to visit the blacksmith. Okay. Not. Actually, I might end this part here. Because we already reached the one half of our mark. And we still have to fight with bandits, so yeah. Nice. Yes, I will open the tomb, just not now. Tomorrow. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!